Hi guys, this tutorial is about controlling the LEDs using an IRF receiver and a remote control. For this project, you are going to need a power source, a remote control, an IR receiver, Arduino, breadboard, three LED lights, three resistors to work with the LED lights, and a couple of jumper wires. Let's get into it now. What we want to do first is to make sure that we power we, we connect the Arduino to the breadboard. What we want to do first of all is to put on the wires that are going to provide the power source to the breadboard. So we are going to connect our first wire from the 5 volt pin on the Arduino to the positive rail of the breadboard. The next wire we want to put is the ground wire. We are going to get it from the ground on the Arduino onto the negative rail of the breadboard. This ensures that all the other peripherals that you are going to put on are going to get their power from the breadboard. So the next thing that we want to do is to put our LEDs onto the breadboard. Just bear in mind that the negative part or the shorter leg of the LED will go into the negative rail of the breadboard. So we are going to put it like this. With the LEDs in place, we're going to put the resistors and make sure that they are in line with the LEDs. The resistors will have to go uh, on like this. Right. and make sure that your resistors cross the center divider so that we don't have a short circuit. Right, the next thing that we want to do is to put the wires that are going to connect the LEDs to the Arduino. So we're going to need three wires. The first wire is going to go on to pin number two on the Arduino. The second wire we're going to pin it to pin number three on the Arduino. The last wire from the LEDs is going to go to pin number four on the Arduino. Right. And now we need another wire that is going to come from the negatives rail of the breadboard across to the other side of the negative rail so that we have a complete circuit for the LEDs. This completes the wiring of the LEDs. Now we are going to wire in the IR receiver. If you notice the IR receiver has got three pins. The first pin is the ground, the middle pin is going to be the power pin and the outside pin will be the signal pin. So what we want to do is to make sure that we have the three wires the, the three pins wired properly. I found it easier to put your wires first, all three wires, so that you don't have to second guess whether you have them in the right place. Right, like so. And then you just align your pins with the three holes, like so. Right, so the first wire which is the ground or the negative goes to the negative portion of the breadboard. The second wire, which is power, goes to the positive rail of the breadboard. And then the signal wire will go to pin number seven on the breadboard. Like so. Now we are going to need a power source in order to activate our setup. Right. So if everything is wired correctly, if we press one, it will turn the red light on. Uh, press it again, it will turn it off. Press two, it will turn the white light on. Turn it off, on, off, again. 
This is how you control the LED lights using the remote. In our next segment, we are going to try to make a product that we are going to use in a, in a, like in a house setup on how you are going to turn instead of using the wall switch, you are going to use a remote. Thank you for watching.